So even though, ikhwan, we had this idol worship, there were among the peoples of the Arab, those who were known for Tawheed. And those who were known to have remained upon the religion of Ismail. Even though much of the ahkam and much of the rulings of that religion had disappeared, they remained upon Tawheed and they disliked shirk. From them, ikhwan, we have Zayd ibn Amr ibn Nufayl. Zayd ibn Amr ibn Nufayl was an individual that the Prophet ﷺ himself was affected by. Since he was an individual who was firm upon abandoning the idol worship. And that he disliked worshipping uh, anyone but Allah Azza wa Jal. And that he looked for the religion of Ibrahim. And he would dispraise the Arab on the basis of it. And there are a number of narrations uh, that uh, relate to him. From them, a narration that was mentioned and collected by Imam Al Tabarani in Mu'jam Al Kabir uh, with the Hassan chain of narration. He mentioned uh, that indeed uh, uh, Amr, or Zayd ibn Amr ibn Nufayl, that he had left alone the worship uh, of the Awthan. Uh, and indeed, he was an elderly man. He was an elderly man, and he was seen resting his back upon the Kaaba. And so he would say to them, Ya Ma'ashara Quraysh, he would say to them, O gathering of Quraysh, Walladhi nafsi Zayd ibn Amr biyadi, ma asbaha minkum ahadun ala deeni Ibrahim ghayri. He would say, O oh, gathering of Quraysh, by him in whose hands is Zayd ibn Amr. None of you have remained upon the religion of Ismail other than me. None of you. None of you have remained upon the religion of Ibrahim, of one other than me. He mentioned, Allahumma law anni a'lam ayyul wujuh ahabbu ilayk abadtuka bihi. He said, Oh Allah, if I knew which way and which direction or which way was most, more beloved to you, then I would worship you by way of it. So he supplicated uh, to Allah Azza wa Jal uh, and was heard supplicating. But indeed I do not know. And then he would make sajda upon his uh, riding beast. Uh, now, likewise, it was mentioned concerning him that he did not used to eat the food that was worked, that was slaughtered uh, upon the altars. Uh, similarly, he would not eat the food that was not or did not have the name of Allah Azza wa Jal mentioned over it. And what he would similarly do is that he would save the young girls, the baby girls, who were due to be slaughtered. Since from the, the practice of the uh, Arab at that time was that they would slaughter the baby girls. Since they saw the baby girls as a form of weakness for the tribe, men they saw gave the tribe strength. And the ayam of the Arab and the days in which they would praise their forefathers and speak of them, they would speak of that which the forefathers would carry out from bravery, that which occurred among the tribes, the various wars, and those things took place with men. And so they saw then that the, the girls, they weakened the tribe. And this practice then of killing girls uh, was one that was uh, uh, implemented. Zayd ibn Amr, he would hear of a man intended to kill his daughter and he would say, give her to me. Don't kill her. Give her to me. I will look after her and I will rear her and I will nurture her. Then when she's of age, you may either take her back or leave her with me. And he would, he used to despise this practice of them killing uh, the baby girls. Uh, and so he was a man, Ikhwan, that was upright, uh, a man uh, that was righteous, even though he did not have uh, yani the deen uh, in terms of tafasil and detail. Similarly, we have a narration in Sahih Bukhari, when the Messenger of Allah informed that Zayd ibn Amr kana ya'ibu ala Qurayshin dhaba'ihahum that he used to dispraise Quraysh for their slaughterings, the slaughtering that they would make for the idols. And he would say, Yaqul, Ashat, 
خلقها الله وأنزل لها من السماء ما وأنبت لها من الأرض ثم تذبحونها على غير اسم الله إنكارا لذلك وعظاما له He used to say to them the sheep Allah Azza wa Jal has created them and he caused them to drink from the water that he sent down upon them from the sky and he made them eat from the vegetation that he caused grow and then you slaughter them for other than him and so he would uh, dispraise their practice ikhwan, of slaughtering for uh, the, uh, the idols Similarly, in a narration that occurs in Sahih Bukhari, the Prophet ﷺ informed us of the fact that Zayd ibn Amr ibn Nufayl, he went on an occasion to Sham in order to ask and to seek the deen, the correct religion. <coughs> he said, فَلَقْيَ عَالِمًا مِنَ الْيَهُودِ فَسَأَلَهُ عَنْ دِينِهِمْ And so he came across an alim from the Yehud, from the Jews. And he asked them concerning their religion. And so they said to him, uh, and he said to them first and foremost, Inni la'alli an adin adinakum fa'akhbirni fa'qala la takun ala dinina hatta ta'akhud nasibaka min ghadabillah. He said that indeed I am seeking religion and perhaps I will follow your religion, so inform me of it. And so they said that you will not be able to be of our way and upon our religion until you take your portion of the anger of Allah. Until you take your portion of the anger of Allah. And so he said, Ma afirru illa min ghadabillah. He said, I am not fleeing except from the anger of Allah. And so he said, Wala ahmil min shay'an abada. He said, and I will not have any of the anger of Allah at all, ever. Yani that was what he was fleeing from. He said, uh, and I am not able to withstand that. And so he said, can you then inform me? Hal tadullani ala ghayri? Can you inform me and point me towards other than this? And so they said, ma a'lamuhu illa an yakuna hanifan. So they said, we, don't, we know of no other religion except that you be Hanif, which is that you remain upon Tawheed. فَقَالَ زَيْدُ وَمَا الْحَنِيفِ قَالَ دِينُ إِبْرَاهِيمِ Zayd asked them, what is this Hanif? And they responded, it is the deen and the religion of Ibrahim. And so he said, and what was the deen of Ibrahim? And they responded by saying, لَمْ يَكُنْ يَهُودِيًّا وَلَا نَصْرَانِيًّا وَلَا يَعْبُدُ إِلَّا اللَّهِ they said he was not a Jew, neither was he a Christian. Rather, he did not used to worship except Allah. Uh, he said, uh, and so, uh, naam, he said, فَخَرَجَ زَيْدْ فَلَقْيَ عَالِمًا مِنَ النَّصَارَى And so he continued upon his journey and he came across an alim from the Nasara. He came across an alim from the Christians. Uh, he said, when he came across that individual, indeed, I ask you of your deen. And inni la'alli an adina dinakum, that perhaps I may practice your religion. So inform me of it. And so they said, Lam takun ala dinina hatta ta'khuda bi nasibika min la'natillah. He said that you will not be able to be upon our religion until you take your portion of the curse of Allah. And that, ikhwan, continues to be a concept among them that we are born within sin and within uh, yani that which causes us to be despised and despicable and the only way that we can be resolved of that sin is to believe in the blood of Jesus Christ uh, and so he said Ma afirru illa min la'natillah. he said I'm not fleeing except from the curse of Allah so he said and I'm not able to withstand that neither his anger so inform me and point me towards other than this and so they said, "Ma a'lamuhu illa an yakuna hanifan." They said, "We do not know any other way except that you be hanif." Uh, and so again, he asked, "Wa mal hanif?" And what is hanif? He said, "Din Ibrahim, the religion of Ibrahim." Lam yakun yahudiyan wala nasraniyan, walakin kana hanifan muslima. He was not a yahudi, neither was he nasrani, 
but he was Hanif upon the religion of Tawheed, one who was in submission to Allah Azza wa Jal, not worshipping except Allah. فَلَمَّا رَأَى زَيْدٌ قَوْلَهُمْ فِي إِبْرَاهِيمَ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامِ خَرَجَ مِنْ عِنْدِهِمْ وَقَدْ رَضِيَ بِمَا أَخْبَرَاهُ وَالَّذِي اتَّفَقَ عَلَيْهِ مِنْ شَأْنِ إِبْرَاهِيمِ And so when he saw the affair of Ibrahim, he left them uh, and he did not uh, see except that they were united upon praising the affair of Ibrahim. He said, فَلَمَّا بَرَزَ رَفَعَ يَدَيْهِ إِلَى اللَّهِ فَقَالَ اللَّهُمَّ إِنِّي أَشْهَدْ أَوْ أَشْهَدُكَ أَنِّي عَلَى دِينِ إِبْرَاهِيمِ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامِ And so he left them and said, Oh Allah, indeed I bear, I bear witness that indeed, or bear your witness that I am upon the religion of Ibrahim. Uh, and so uh, Zayd ibn Amr was from among Ikhwan, the, uh, the Arab, uh, and those who were present within the region who remained upon the religion and upon the deen of Ibrahim.